Hey YouTube, it's Cape Cod Cuda. This is my 92 Dodge Dakota. Uh, the other day I went up to a salvage yard. It was a pick a pull. They had a half day, half price day. And uh, I scored a aluminum radiator. Um, for $25, they charged me a $5 core charge. And I also installed the electric fan. Uh, I got the electric fan for free. I seen it sitting beside a, a dumpster when I went scrapping and uh, at a Chevrolet dealership. And uh, so I put that in. It's got a Chrysler emblem on it. Um, my buddy that works at a salvage yard, he thinks it came out of a PT Cruiser. Uh, <clears throat> The radiator came out of a Dodge Dakota at the salvage yard, and um, it looks like it, it was really nice, really new. Uh, it had brand new hoses on it. They cut the hoses at the at the junkyard to get the coolant out of it. <coughs> Excuse me. But I installed that. It fits real nice from the bottom of the uh, radiator to the top of the radiator. That fan sits very snugly in there. I only put those um, those um, tie downs, those those uh, straps right there, just in case it did flop into the thing. I took my clutch fan off too, um, but so I did all this. I was pretty cool, happy about this. It stays cold all the time. Uh, right now, I just have it hooked up to that toggle switch that was for the AC. Uh, I guess the AC really didn't need it. It was just un unplugged. So, plug that back in, but I have it to that toggle switch right now. Um, and I, It's a two-speed motor, I guess, but only one of the speeds work. And... Um, I only have it hooked up to the one of the speeds, and it never comes off the off the C on the dashboard where you know the temperature gauge stays on C. It never comes off of it when I turn the fan on. Um, that that was good yesterday, and then I went to the car wash. And I wanted to clean my engine bay down a little, and I got my distributor wet, I believe. <clears throat> and my brother said, you better not get the distributor wet. Anyways, I got my distributor wet. The truck had a, I sat there trying to start it for like three hours. I wasted a quarter tank of gas trying to start the truck. And um, finally I got it to go. She went a couple of times, she started to go and she'd die out, but I started to go, and I came up to a light, and I started to go again, and the truck stalled at the light, so I took a right on red, and went through the intersection, and went up a street, and I was giving it some gas, and she was sputtering, so I kept on holding the gas down, and all of a sudden, she, uh, she blew up. The exhaust blew up on the the back of the truck. Um, the muffler exploded. This is a cold start. I haven't started it at all today. It's early morning. It's a little cold out, and the truck still got a little dew on it. That's pretty cool. It sucks because I was like a new exhaust system on the truck. 
all the way from the manifolds all the way back. I can't really prop it up, but... <laughs> Uh, it's early morning, I shouldn't be doing that. My neighbors are gonna fucking really hate me. Excuse my French. <laughs> but, now I gotta go get a muffler. It's not one thing, it's another, isn't it? Well, when I bought the truck, they had put a distributor in it, and, um, I've been driving it around and stuff. I've only put, um, like 450 miles maybe on the truck since I've owned it and um, sometimes when you were driving she would start sputtering and stuff and um, so I was thinking maybe the distributor wasn't in correctly um, one thing we did notice is the cap was like a little wobbly on there um, so we end up taking the distributor apart a little and moving it last night and uh, I gotta check that out. We might have to turn it a little more. It's supposed to be like 10 degrees before top dead center. But also online, I've been saying, seeing people saying the computer uh, controls the the timing on it or something like that. But we went down here on the crank and we put it, marked it up on the on there at top dead center and twisted this distributor so that it was lined up the the rotor was lined up to there's a tab on the back of the distributor I don't know can't really see but there's a little block tab on the side of the distributor and I guess that's where the rotor is supposed to be pointing um, but that's it. I got a new um, battery bolt when I was at the junkyard too, and I got some. Uh, I got all the hardware to hold the radiator in because one of them was missing a clip, and the other clip when I tried to pull it out to match it, I dropped the clip inside the radiator core. But radio support, whatever you call support, radio support, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's my Dodge Dakota 1992 with the 3.9 liter Dodge Magnum engine. I want to go back to the engine bay place, the uh, pressure wa car wash, or pressure wash this engine bay back a little more. It was really dirty. A lot of dirt was caked up on the engine and on the. Oh, I also found out I got a rip rid um a ripped engine mount over here on the right hand side when you put it in reverse the motor jumps so I gotta fix that uh, I was telling my buddy the guy put fifteen hundred dollars in it the, the day the, the month the month that I bought the truck he put fifteen hundred dollars in it and uh, kinda gave up on putting money in it when she stalled on him again so um now I, I see why he might have got rid of it. It is kind of a little money pit. <laughs> and I might have to go buy a transmission. I, I've i been talking with my buddy that works at the salvage yard. That lockout solenoid piece, I bought it. It was 70 bucks, And uh, I've already changed the filter in it and the transmission fluid. Uh, you know, and that cost me about $30. And then when I did the radiator with the with the um, cooler, trans cooler and stuff like that, I had to change out the fluid again at another 30 bucks, 25 bucks, and uh, now I got to put that that part in again. And I'm gonna have to buy more tranny fluid for the price that I've been playing with this transmission and all this stuff. I could have went and bought a junkyard transmission. <laughs> so he priced one at his yard for 300. We went to this pick a pull place that had that half day off. He got a Chevy Tahoe transmission for 60 bucks, but we didn't see any of these Dodge transmissions. Uh, I'm going to wrap this video up. 
and I'll just keep you posted on the stuff that I do. But this radiator looks awesome. Aluminum radiator, it's thick. I don't know how many core it is, but it's a nice thick radiator, and that fan install looks awesome. Electric fan, no more clutch fan. My shroud broke, that's another reason I had to change it, um, because I didn't have, when I got the, the truck, it didn't have anything holding the radiator up other than a bungee cord. Um, and the radiator fell into the uh, the clutch fan, and it broke the shroud. And at that point, after I mounted it up, I was still afraid. Now and then, you'd hear it, hear the fan tapping the shroud, and uh, I'd pull over and wiggle on it and stuff like that. But I was afraid that one one of these times I was going to open up the the hood and the fan would catch the shroud and throw a piece of plastic in my face or something like that. So, as I wanted to fix that. <clears throat> but, alright guys, I'll let you guys go. This is my project, and I'll keep you posted on my next little repair on it. I haven't painted it yet. That is in the works. Cause she is ugly. <laughs> but, I bought it for 500 and I don't know how much I have invested in it so far. Like I said, $30 for the radiator, free electric fan, uh, I think it was $6 for the transmission filter, about well, $30 for the training fluid, and um, $70 for that lockout lock up solenoid that's about what I got into it so far that I can just think off the top of my head alright Cape Cod Cuda signing out um, I did work the truck um, and went scrapping um, I haven't brought my what I got in yet I have to bring it to the scrapyard but that would be the truck paying for itself and um, she's dirty in there because I went driving out to Orlando to pick up transmissions and parts and everything with my buddies. And I towed, oh yeah, I towed the 85 Caprice. I towed it to the scrapyard for my buddy and look at my bumper. Yeah. My bumper's all jacked up now. I was pulling his 85 Caprice to the scrapyard, and um, he had took out the the um, master cylinder, so he had no brakes in his car. So he would slam into me, and because my transmission's messed up, I would have to rev it up and pull in gear. <laughs> So my bumper was getting a workout back and forth, and that's what it looks like now. <laughs> so I'm going to have to go get a bumper or I'll back into a tree or something. Alright guys, I'll let you go. Cape Kaikuta, signing out.